Man, I really need a new YouTube video idea. What the? Who the hell are you? Well, hello, good sir. Care to partake in the finest of vegan culinary experiences? What are you talking about, man? You must know, don't you? In order to be vegan and especially build muscle, you must be a privileged first world citizen. There's simply no other way to afford it. You know what creepy guy who just randomly appeared in my apartment? You just gave me a great idea for a video. Oh man, is this gonna be a good video. Welcome to the video, guys. My name is Cole Hastings. If you're new here, it's all about vegan fitness and self-help on this channel, so consider subscribing or don't, but thanks for watching today's video. Today we are doing a full day of eating, but with a twist. It's going to be the cheapest vegan athlete full day of eating that you've probably ever seen. All of these meals, I'm gonna have four meals throughout the day, are going to total up to five dollars a whole day of eating as a vegan athlete for five dollars so for all the naysayers out there that say oh veganism is too expensive especially if you're an athlete like you gotta eat all those calories well, guess what i'm just proving you wrong right here and another thing people are gonna say before they watch this video they're gonna say this guy's probably getting no nutrients in if he's paying for like all the cheap foods because all healthy foods are expensive right you're wrong again because I'm gonna show you at the end of the video, if you stick around to that, the chronometer totals. Chronometer is an app where it shows you all the micronutrients that you got throughout the day as well. And boy, when I say I'm looking healthy after this full day of eating because I already tracked this whole day, uh, let me tell you guys, I am. So stick around for that. Let's get into this first cheap ass meal. All right. Here we go, meal number one. We are going to be having a large potato. I'm going to microwave this because we don't got time to play no games today and let it bake for half an hour. Then we're gonna be using a cup of white rice. We're gonna be using a cup of these mixed frozen vegetables, one of the cheapest things you can get, of course. And in here, I wanted to show you guys the tofu that I'm gonna have in a paper towel because a lot of people, I keep forgetting to tell you guys on these vlogs, you guys need to drain your tofu. So if you just wrap it in a paper towel and like squeeze it with both hands, but I can't do both hands right now, it will become a lot more firm. And this was extra firm already, so there's like no water left in this. That's perfect. And on the tofu, I'm gonna be putting a tablespoon of nutritional yeast as well as half a tablespoon of olive oil and then you'll see what else I'm seasoning the tofu with on the pan but let's just get into making this meal. A lot of you guys have been around the channel for a while you know that usually I cut this up into little pieces and then microwave it but I'm thinking I've, I've been just like keeping it as the whole potato so I'm gonna stab it and murder it with a fork so it doesn't blow up in the microwave and I'm just gonna wrap it in like a paper towel and throw it in the microwave and I don't know how long that's gonna take probably like five minutes minutes or so, but let's go do that. All right, while that's happening in the microwave, let's get the tofu all set up. We're gonna put in the half a tablespoon of olive oil. And normally in the mornings, I'll have tofu scramble, I'll crumble it up and do that whole tofu scramble thing that I do. But today, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to chop it into like rectangles. So if you check over at the very end of your screen back there, you can see that I'm chopping it into rectangles. Why am I doing this? I don't know, I just wanna switch it up, you know? Spread that around, spread the oil around. I'm not gonna be using much seasoning for this because I wanna keep this day as cheap as possible, you know? And in true stupid fashion, the Cole Hastings way, I never really remember to season things before I put them in the pan. So I'm just gonna do that now while it's in the pan. So we got the nutritional yeast going on. And then the only other thing I'm gonna season this with is iodized salt for that iodine and to get some sodium in before I head off to the gym, you know, so I can get a stupidly fat pump. And now while that's happening on the pan, I think the potato is done. Let me go get it. But I'm gonna leave this to the side because we still got things to microwave, which are the rice and the vegetables. Nice, now we can go microwave this. And now all that's really left to do is wait for this tofu to cook on both sides. All right, finally they're done, so let's plate them and let's show you guys the whole meal. Good 
We have meal number one, all set and done for us. If I could describe this meal in one word, it would be nutritious. Is it going to taste good? Uh, you know, uh, today, today is not uh, about taste, okay? Today is about getting the cheapest possible vegan foods in you to build muscles. But it is finally time to get into the macros for this first meal because I'm going to show you guys all the macros throughout the day as well. So the macros for this first meal are going to be on screen right now. And then that is going to be the total so far. I just realized I almost forgot to tell you guys the most important information of this video, which is how much this whole meal cost. This meal came to a whopping $1.33. Yeah, super hyped about that. Now, before we go on to the next thing, I just want to quickly announce that my self-help book, The Middle Way, How to Strategically Use Laziness to Enhance Your Creative Power, is now available for pre-order on on my website for the next 20 days or so. If you buy within the first 50 copies, I'm going to write a personal message within the book for you. And also if you pre-order, you're gonna get 10% off. You can use the code TOFU10 at the checkout for that discount. So let's get into the workout now. I have to bring my camera over to the gym because I'm actually shooting some photos there for my website. So let's go over, let's hit this workout and then we'll see the next super, 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 super cheap meal. from an amazing workout and before I show you guys the post-workout meal I do want to show you guys some extremely cheap to go on with the theme of this video extremely cheap supplements that I use every single day and these two supplements are creatine monohydrate and vitamin d3 the vegan version now I take creatine monohydrate post-workout on an empty stomach I just find that works the best for me but you can take it at any point in the day but what creatine is if you guys don't know it helps build a little bit more muscle mass it helps increase your strength and it's just a good athletic supplement the one that's been the most researched out of anything I just get the pure creatine monohydrate no bullshit in it and this whole whole bag lasts you like a whole year or something like that and it's only $20 which is amazing and then vitamin d3 everybody every single person watching this video should be taking a vitamin d supplement unless you're in the sun all the time this is going to drastically increase your health and well-being it improves your immune system your bone health everything so I just take five grams of creatine monohydrate that's a teaspoon and I mix it in some water and that's all you got to do so if you want either of these supplements they're both on Amazon on, like I said, extremely cheap for the amount that you get. I recommend taking both of them daily. You can check out the link in my description and pick them up if you're trying to improve your performance in the gym and outside of the gym. So it wouldn't be a cheap day of vegan bodybuilding eating if I didn't make some oatmeal. So we are going to be having a whole cup of rolled oats. We are going to be putting in a cup of soy milk to pair it with. And then within the oats as well, we're going to be putting two tablespoons of peanut butter, two tablespoons of milled flax seeds. This is how I get my omega-3s in. Great way to get omega-3s. And then and this what the hell is this you guys are probably wondering it looks gross listen just just hear me out for a quick second here I froze these bananas because I usually use them in smoothie bowls and then I unfroze them and now this is the result they're still fine they taste fine it's not like they're uneatable or anything they're just gonna be like mushed in there so I just suggest that when you make this you use fresh ripe bananas Could be better, but it is certainly cheap, I'll tell you that. So, that is it for this meal. Yeah, it was, it was really easy to make, and uh, it's a good post-workout meal with all the carbs, and you're getting a good amount of protein in there. So let's see the macros for this meal on screen right now. And then we're gonna be adding that, <coughs> uh, 
Sorry about that. We're gonna be adding that to the total now. And last, but certainly not least, I'm sure you guys wanna know how much did this meal right here cost? Well, actually, I, I need my phone really quick because I wrote it down on my phone. All right, this meal cost $1.18, literally a $1 meal. And guess what? This isn't even the cheapest meal of the day. I'm, I'm very serious. We're gonna get even cheaper than that. So I'm going to enjoy this, get to work, work out the body, Work out the mind next. <laughs> no, seriously though. And then meal number three will be upon you. All right, meal number three of the day. Let's get it, let's get into it. It's gonna taste good, I can tell you that. This is a classic. Well, at least I used to make this all the time. And it is gonna be some high protein pasta. So what we are doing with this pasta, here's a little hack to get more calories in with your pasta. I'm going to have a serving of this chickpea pasta over here, which is high protein pasta. I always recommend legume pastas if you're a vegan athlete. And then we're also gonna be adding in just under a serving of regular enriched white pasta. So when you mix those two together, it's like less fiber than if you were to just have a bunch of chickpea pasta and it'll help with bloating or for people who just eat too much fiber. And then we're gonna be adding half a cup of pasta sauce on top. There's a little bit within each of these, so I'm gonna add them both together and we'll get half a cup, I'm sure. And then my favorite thing to do to mix with pasta sauce is to have two tablespoons of tahini within it. This makes the pasta sauce extremely creamy without cheese, but if we wanna make it kinda taste like cheese, we're also gonna put in some nutritional yeast. We're gonna have a tablespoon of it. And then to top it off, we're gonna have a cup of broccoli in there for some more micronutrients, so let's do it. Need some water over here, and then we're gonna bring it over here, and then we're gonna boil it right here. And something I was told at a young age was that a watch pot never boils. So I'm gonna sit with my back to it. Didn't put a single eye on it. Whoa. Probably like half a serving. I don't know, it's hard to tell with the long spaghetti. You can't measure it in a cup. Okay, we're just gonna let this cook right here, but I've faced a bit of a problem right now. There is definitely not half a cup's worth of pasta sauce in here. And the other jar that I showed you guys, it was uh, a little nasty within the jar, so I threw it out in the recycling bin. So that means I need some other type of sauce and also to replace those calories. So the macros I'm gonna show you are for half a cup of pasta sauce, so let me see what I can do here. Um, all the sauces I have are like zero calorie. Well, well, I could use this. I have this sriracha mayo that is really, really not that good from Wegmans. But a tablespoon of it is 70 calories, so if I use like three quarters of a tablespoon, we'll get pretty much the same calories as half a cup of pasta sauce. And here's a little tip. For the broccoli, I am going to microwave it. I'm not gonna put it in the boiling water because microwaving your vegetables uh, keeps the most amount of micronutrients within them. With a lot of vegetables, when you cook them, some of the micronutrients get taken out of them, but the best way to mitigate that is through the microwave. So we're just gonna put the broccoli in the bowl and send it to the microwave. And look at that, you get a nice variety of textures since you use two pastas too. So that's a little plus. We got the broccoli all microwave. Let's put this on top. All right, let's see how this tastes. So I'm gonna use the rest of this pasta sauce. Yeah. And then the sriracha mayo. I'm a little worried right now, but what can you do, man? I can't have sauceless pasta, that'd be weird. And we got that tablespoon of nutritional yeast. And finally, two tablespoons of tahini going in. I promise you that this tastes a lot better when you have a significant amount of pasta sauce in there. So let's try to mix this up. We'll see how this goes. Nope, it's just not, it's not working in the slightest. It's just one big chunk of tahini. Ugh. And then this meal is just about done. I think I finally found a formidable use for this sriracha mayo because honestly, I took a bite and it doesn't taste too bad in there. If you wanna add that in there, it's gonna be more money though, but we are gonna show the macros on screen for if you were just using the pasta sauce and tahini right now. And then we are adding that to the total. And now for the price of this, I gotta check my phone again. This was the most expensive meal of the day. This was $2.22, cutting it. Cutting it heavy on the freaking price, man. What the heck? So I hope you guys enjoy that meal. I'm sure you will. And last but not least, we're gonna get into the last meal of the day, which is the cheapest meal of the day too. So you're gonna wanna see this, especially for the amount of calories that it is and how much food that it is too. Let's go. All right, it is time. 
time. It's about 9.30. The last meal of the day is upon us and I cannot wait to show you guys this meal as well as the final macros and micronutrients that I hit today. So today's last meal is going to be a little strange to be honest. We are going to have two slices of this sprouted bread. If you guys can find Silver Hills sprouted bread, such good bread. My favorite type of bread right here and it's incredibly healthy. The healthiest bread you can get. Then we're going to have some PB and J on that bread. We're going to have two tablespoons of peanut butter and two tablespoons of this fruit spread jelly. And then what's going in the bowl here is a quarter cup of textured vegetable protein. I'm literally just going to eat a quarter of a cup of this stuff without like any seasonings. Well, I might put a little bit of salt on it. If you guys don't know what textured vegetable protein is, it's just dehydrated soy. The reason I'm having this is because it's 90 calories and 13 grams of protein. Yeah, 13 grams of protein as you guys can see right there. So this is just gonna get me to a higher protein for the day and I'll show you how to prepare this. But first off, we need to get in here and grab a couple slices of bread. I have three slices. I need two slices. Nice going. Two slices going into the toaster. We're just gonna start that up now how to prepare this TVP by the way TVP is great to mimic like ground beef So it's great to put in like tacos and pastas and stuff like that You know don't be weird like me and just eat textured vegetable protein with nothing else But we got a quarter of a cup here You just put it in a bowl fill the bowl with a little bit of water And then you wait five minutes and it's magically gonna be hydrated again and going to expand and it's just gonna taste pretty bland I don't know. I you should, you should really uh, season these things. You know what I'm saying? You got the toast all done. Let's get it going Oh, and look what's happened over here textured vegetable protein is all hydrated pretty much now Okay, that is the final result of everything. Honestly, this might be the weirdest meal I've ever had. And that's saying a lot because I have featured some really weird meals on this channel, I feel like. This is a nice, cheap meal. Once again, this is the cheapest meal of the video, but first, we're gonna show you the macros for this meal on screen right now. And then we are gonna be adding that to the total. So yeah, as you guys see, about 2,800 calories, 130 grams of protein for just about $5, because this meal right here is 93 cents. Yes, 93 cents for this meal. How dope is that? So the total for the day, I think was, God, I, got, I have to keep using my phone, $5.64. So a little over $5, whatever, I guess it's clickbait then, right? And uh, yeah, that was a great day of eating. Now it is time to show you guys the micronutrients that I hit for the day because with all of this super cheap food, it must be hard to eat healthy and hit all your micronutrient goals too, right? Well, let's see. So in our daily report here, we hit 98% of all of our highlighted targets. We smashed all of the vitamins today. All of them were hit so super easily as usual on a vegan diet. Then we also have all of our minerals hit. Sodium I probably went a little bit over because I added salt to things. We got our omega-3s in, that's great. And then protein targets hit easy stuff for today. Just goes to show you don't need a high amount of money to bodybuild or eat healthy. So I hope you do share this video with all your friends who doubt that you can eat vegan healthy for about five bucks a day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It's going to push it out to more people who are haters, who are doubters of what, what we can do on a vegan diet because we can do some pretty cool stuff, clearly. Thank you guys for watching till the end of the video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I am going to hum. Bye.